Hello Glamour Ghouls and welcome back! If you are new here, my name is Midge Munster and on this channel we do all things campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. We are back with another day of Halloween decor hunting today. I can tell you I'm particularly excited this morning because last night I was making a quick pit stop into my Target and I saw a gentleman unpacking boxes in the Halloween section. He was actually putting stuff on shelves. And so for the first time this season we are actually going to have Target Halloween decor too look at. I'm so excited. We've obviously seen some stuff at the Bullseye Playground up to this point, but I have not seen any of the true Halloween decor at all in person yet. So very, very hyped for that. Did it just start raining out of nowhere? What the heck? Like a whole bunch of raindrops just like slapped the top of my car out of nowhere. All right, let's get started decor hunting and head into this target. It is. It's raining. Of course it is. I did my hair today, which means it has to rain. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Got this Welcome Mortals sign inflatable thing. Um, this is the biggest like entry piece I've ever seen displayed in a Target Halloween. Got a ukulele playing skeleton and some dogs. Let's go see what they do. Sophie, kid, listen here while I sing you a little tune about my ribcage. I'm falling. There's no little doggies. Okay, more of the ghoulish garden line. I really like the pots this year. Look more stone and have this like ghost motif. That's cool. These look pretty similar to the previous years as far as design and color. We've also got these little skull flowers and some little skull planters. I don't remember these in the past. These are all pretty much 20 across the board. Got the boo bells. And we've got some new like gargoyles and tombstones. I like this one, it's fun. Let's see what this one does. So it lights up and it is saying something, but it seems like maybe the speaker is broken or the batteries are low maybe, because I can't hear what he's saying. Let's try the gargoyle. We have a few of these different $20 little packs of like yard decor. So this one has all of these ghosts, including the two hanging ones for $20. This one has all these different jack-o'-lanterns and the tombstone. Looks like also that little cemetery gate as well. And this one has a skeleton and some different spider webs. We've got this little black wreath that has got some Black floral and some bats, that's $20. Honestly, I wish there was some contrast because you can't really see <laughs> what's on the wreath. It's also black. Target's been doing more of these little like neighborhood type things. So they've got a couple cute little $5 houses. Happy Halloween pumpkin. And then they've got these larger metal $10 houses that you can put a candle in. They look like they have little LED tea lights in there right now. I've also got this $15, I guess it would be like a cupcake stand or maybe you could use it for your jewelry. What do they call it a tiered, just a tiered tray. <laughs> so the shelves are kind of petite. They definitely have this last year, I don't know. I'm just always a little confused as to what I would put on this, but it is really cute. Also got this cauldron for 15 that has these back cutouts, but the inside is like a, a solid pot. It's pretty cute. It's metal. It's heavy. Also got this little truck, some little light up trees. The small glitter ones are 15 and we've got this bigger one with a pumpkin on the pot and it's glittery tall. 
I love these kind of trees, but I don't like when they're covered in glitter because it gets everywhere. Got some different signage, just a simple trick or treat and happy Halloween for $5. And a $10 happy hauntings. I like that this has a little bit of pink flecked through it. A coffin shaped happy Halloween porch sign. Oh, and I just noticed that it's reversible and does have this welcome sign on the back. And for only 20 bucks, you get two signs. So that's a pretty good deal. Some different pillows, trick or treat, and then this be afraid. <laughs> this little $5 boo haunted house sign. They have this little like crocheted skeleton guy. He's pretty cute. He is $20. They also have these black and gold different owls, pumpkins, skulls like they had last year. And a happy hauntings wreath with a cute little felt skeleton guy sitting in there. That'll run you $20 as well. Some like galvanized pumpkins, but they uh, again have that solid inside. So you could use these for a planter or something outside. Uh, those are 20. And this little stack of lantern Halloween sign. As always, Target has an awesome collection of different jack-o'-lanterns to choose from and at a pretty darn good price if I do say so myself. Unfortunately, I already have most of these. <laughs> I've also got this six foot tall pumpkin carved skeleton man. This is pretty cool. I've never seen this. 125. They also have the little straight lamp again. And honestly, ugh, debating if I should get it. Several of my friends have this and I regret not buying it every time I see it in their houses. It's so cute. Cute little ceramic pieces. We've got a little ceramic tree that lights up. This little ghost and cat combo. And this little bird in a witch hat. This is so cute. It's a lot smaller, but it does remind me of the little birds they did for Valentine's Day. Have kind of a vintage vibe and I really like these. Over here we've got some different skeleton decor and it looks like for the most part these are all animatronic to some degree, so let's check them out. Got this little seesaw. <laughs> Having a great time. <laughs> Got this. Oh, that's fun. Wanna see something scary? Yeah. Look in the mirror. <laughs> Got him. We had this one last year, and I think it's really cute. This little like cemetery party inside a skull mouth. This is 15. I'm sure a lot of you remember this one from last year also. And we've got the plasma light skull. Some different skeletons. I got that one last year if you remember. They also got the little pumpkin man skeleton. He's really cute. These are all 40. Okay, now one of my favorite things Target does every year, all the different lighting options. Got a cute spider motion projector. And another projector with the seesawing skeletons again. I love both of these like LED neon signs. We've got a waving skeleton and then this like stirring cauldron full of bones. I really, really like this one. I also have one of these little indoor I don't know what you would call these, like oops, ray lights. Um, if y'all haven't seen one of these in action, they're really, really cool. My mom got the jack o lantern one last year, and I think my friend Miranda has the ghost also, and they put out a really cool, like the light literally looks like these stripes on the wall. It has like slats down the side. It, it's really, really cool. Cute little skull ornament wreath. This is the only piece of the like stand-up wooden decor that I see right now. It's this little haunted house, but I love this cat design. That's $10. I have some of these lanterns again this year. I always think these are really cool. They look like haunted houses. Um, they've got different images around the like sides of them and they do light up. They've got them in the black and white. 
then over here, they have an orange version as well. Another cute little ornament wreath with jack-o'-lanterns. Oh my gosh, y'all, pink -oween. I'm so excited. Got a cute little felt pumpkin wreath, 10 bucks for that. Some bottle brush trees that are pink and orange. And some of these little houses that are in that color scheme also. I often joke about things being the Mitch Monster special. This little metal luminary with ghosts and a pink inside definitely falls in that category. Also got a couple little flower arrangements with some skulls that are pink and orange and one in a white pumpkin. This is over in the party planning aisle. It's this little tiered stand with cobwebs. I think that's really, really cute. They also have a $20 Ouija tray. This is a little bit different than the one we've had. This is a little bit different than the one we've had the last couple of years. Um, I like it better. It's a little more subtle, less cartoony, but still not as cool as that one they had once upon a time. This is over with the baking stuff. I've seen this online a couple times and I think it's really cute. It's a little bat spatula for $5.99. I believe they have a ghost one too, but I don't see that they have it here at mine. Y'all, we have to have a talk. Who keeps licensing my image without my permission? We've got some new stuff over in dishware as well. Got these plastic plates that are orange and pink. Super cute. The pumpkins. I love the candy. Ugh. Look at the pink and black and orange. I love the little pink, black, and orange candy corns. And then this happy Halloween. These are a super cute set. So we've also got the plate that is just shaped like the jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> cute little hay boo. So got some cute little snack cups for your kiddos. As well as sippy cups for your kiddos, or for me, honestly. I want this one. <laughs> this just in, y'all. Target also has the monster cookies. I had only found them at Walmart so far, but they do have them in stock at Target's now. <laughs> do I need another ghost mug? Hell no. Do I want this one for $5? Definitely. Also got a cute little skull guy. Well, it has officially begun to rain. <laughs> Oh, uh, ain't that just the way? But we did Target and Target had some stuff. They had a couple of new things that I thought were kind of cool. Overall, nothing out yet that I was personally like gung-ho crazy about. They have a sign. It is the cutest little just like tabletop light up sign that says spooky and it's very mid-century looking. Like the font is just perfect and it's like white with kind of like black lines inside. I'll put a picture of it here because I can't just, I'm not describing it well, but that is like one of the few pieces this year that I'm truly hunting for. And I'm really nervous I'm not gonna find it and you can't get it online. I even like looked when I was in the Target, I was looking at like the labels on the, <laughs> on the shelves, trying to see like where it would be. And I, I truly don't think I've missed it because some of the stuff they have displayed, they don't even have out, like those neon signs, uh, that, that cauldron one I really liked, they didn't even have on the floor, so I couldn't even buy it. So I really don't think I've missed it, but I am feeling stressed about it for no particular reason. <laughs> Specifically because that's a piece I want for like my home. I don't want it for Halloween. I want it for year round and I really like it. So I hope, I hope I find it. Honestly, I have a nail appointment this afternoon and we're going to be out on the, tar the Target side. Eh. We're going to be out on the Kansas side um, and their Targets tend to hit a little bit quicker than mine. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll try and find a Target close to my nail salon and see if I can just check another Target and see what they have. Anywho's it, right now I am parked in front of the Home Depot. Uh, lots of you commented on the last video asking why I hadn't been to a Home Depot and truth be told, I have been to Home Depot three times. <laughs> and every time I've gone in, there hasn't been nary a single pumpkin in sight. And let me tell you, when you walk into a home improvement store in the middle of a weekday dressed like this and there's no Halloween in there, you catch some weird looks. <laughs> you really do. Uh, but it's been about a week, week and a half since I've checked last. So I'm gonna try this Home Depot and see if they have anything. Uh, if not, we'll probably just skip right to Joanne. I think it's gonna be my next stop because 
Uh, again, I popped in there for something for like something else for a craft or something recently. And they had a whole new line of stuff suddenly that I didn't even know. Joanne is infamous for this. Like they put out a sprinkling of like fine stuff in August and then all of a sudden mid-September, well bam, they'll put out some crazy, that's what they did with that Dark and Deco line two years ago and it shocked the crap out of all of us because we thought Joanne was done. We thought she had gone to bed for the year. So if Home Depot doesn't have anything, we'll pop straight there. If not, we'll see what there is to see. I'll see you inside. Let's run through this rain. <laughs> My poor beehive. Still not a single thing at Home Depot. What is happening? Okay, I found a couple of things. We've got a couple of animatronics. Let's see what this witch does. Welcome to our haunted house. <laughs> Enter if you dare. Couple little phantom guys. Oh. That's cool. Got a really big tombstone for $12. It's just styrofoam, but it's big. Got a couple of creepy little guys and a howling bone dog. Got a few different jack o' lanterns. It's kind of a unique face. I feel like I haven't really seen that before. A couple of big, big jack-o'-lanterns. And some skeletons. Some more gravestones. They do have some nice looking gravestones. They have some really good like weather to them and the moss and everything makes them look pretty legit for being styrofoam. But that's it. And honestly for Home Depot, that is next to nothing compared to what they usually have available. So I'm kind of shocked. Okay, Joanne time. Okay, this is what I was talking about, Haunted Hollow. This is not here last time and it's very cute. Okay, let's start over here. We've got some plateware and stuff. Can't really see it, but it looks like it's just like trees. We've also got some bowls that look like they have like spider webs inside, maybe some snakes and frogs and stuff. Here you can see that tree print that's on the plates on this large bowl. We've also got some plates of that spider web print. These are beautiful. They're like melamine. Little tray with like bats. <sighs> see, I love this kind of stuff. This like natural witch. We've also got a cool skull platter. <laughs> Beware of giant spiders. I love this. It looks like though that something got like ripped off of it probably spiders if i had to venture a guess um i wish that wasn't damaged i love that got a very cute little spider mirror hello a little spell book with a frog and some bugs oh y'all this is making me reevaluate if i want to bring back my my witch apothecary dining room again because this stuff is so pretty look at these spiders This though, I'm gonna tell you what, I would be that person. I could make this. You could buy a frame, paint this little wood thing, and glue some plastic spiders on there. This is $50. I could make this for 20 bucks, truly. Now, okay, we're 50% off, so that makes it 25. Okay, okay, I would pay 25 for that, that's fine. Got like a spider web, I think that's a table runner. Very pretty. These overgrown, like, stack of skulls with moss. <sighs> I love this kind of shit. I love it. Got like a, a bone daddy in a coffin full of moss. I do wish he was like distressed. He's very white and new looking uh, juxtaposed against that, that coffin. It's the most frightful time of the year. Look at that background though. Ugh. I love with the bats and the spiders. Very pretty. Got some different moss decor, boo, a skull. This is really cool, like moth covered skull. Again, I love non-traditional colors for Halloween. These nature colors, the yellows, the greens, very cool. I know this is kind of simple, but I really like it. This happy Halloween that's like overgrown with uh, branches. That's the word I'm looking for. Also got happy Halloween and to all a good fright. Okay, trypophobia warning, ready? Three two one we've got this wreath 
with those seed pod things that I can't stand because they give me the heebie-jeebies. But cool wreath, more signage. I'd turn back if I were you and hair of moth premium quality, 100% moth hair. <laughs> Look at that cutie cauldron. It's green as it cracked. Or is that supposed to be like that? I can't tell. Really pretty sagey green color though, I like that. Got some more of these kind of things. I love pumpkins that look like they're rotting. Tell me why I love that. I don't know, but these are cool. They kind of look like wood and also like they're very, very old. Look at that little feller. He's so cute. 20, but he'd be 10. Oh, I like him. Beautiful little moss skull. Enter if you dare. Uh, Y'all, am I? I'm thinking about ditching my vampire idea. These are really pretty, and now I really want to do my my witch dining room again. These are cool too. Like a big skull door knocker. That's heavy too. That's um metal. That's cool. I love a little hanging bat. What a handsome gentleman. Oh, I think this is just a wall hanging. I thought it was a door knocker. It's really cool though. Freaking bats. So much cool stuff, y'all. Honestly, this mirror is giving this outfit its moment because it needed a moment. Got some really cute different towels and things in this theme. I love this bat one with the yellow moon. Also really, of course, I love the spider webs. Everyone's shocked, I know. Everyone stop what you're doing. Spider web mug. It's, it's a need. They've also got some new stuff in this aisle as well. I don't remember seeing these little ghost canisters. Very cute. Definitely don't remember this cake tray with the cat. As you can suspect, I was very excited about this spider web plate. However, $25 for this little plate. I know it's 50% off. That's still too much. That was gonna be 50% off of like $7. That's a plate. It's a small plate. <laughs> Joanne. Got some cute jack-o'-lantern stuff as well and like a, like a serving dish with the cat and the moons. I really like these lowball glasses. They're really heavy, like the base is super heavy, and for the 50% off, they're 10 bucks a pop, which is a lot cheaper than we've seen them at like Home Goods and places. They had some really fun stuff in Joanne. I had to like, I had to really reel myself in because I could have bought a lot of stuff, but I decided, I decided I'm not ready to give up on my vampire dining room yet. I had this idea back when I thought Michaels was going to give us a great vampire line. I wanted to do kind of a what we do in the shadows vampire banquet, just like really extravagant, like sexy <laughs> interview with a vampire moment but I feel like I'm running out of opportunities to gather items for that theme however I have so much stuff that I think I can hodgepodge something together I'm not ready to give up on it I guess is what I'm saying I think I can make it happen and as much as I adored my witch dining room last year it was so beautiful I'm ready to try something new and I don't want to give up just because Michaels didn't make a vampire line. Like, we can make something so fun. I believe in us. And I bought those gorgeous candelabras. We have to use them. We're gonna make it work, designers. Sorry, it's gonna get a little noisy, but I gotta turn some air on. It is hot in her. When I was at Target, I got my pumpkin cream cold brew. I also got some snackies. I got these little, is it oots? Uts? Oots? ghost puffs um they're really tasty what i will say is i don't i wouldn't call them ghosts <laughs> look at these <laughs> that's the kind of confidence and grace i want to have with myself when working on a project that doesn't turn out the way i planned it i'm like yeah no it's a ghost for sure also something you need to know about me if you don't already is that i love gummies and sour candy 
and they have these Haribo sour vampire bats. Look at these little guys. <laughs> mm. Oh, positively bussin'. I feel recharged. I need a little snack break. Joanne had me overwhelmed. Uh, basically, Haunted Hollow. Really cool stuff. Uh, per usual, Joanne, it is overpriced, but it's 50% off, making it the price it should have been to begin with. There's definitely, uh, if you go for that cottage core Witch of the Woods vibe, not just in Halloween, but in your home decor, that's what I'm loving about them putting out these kind of lines. Is like, it's for us weirdos who like to add a little bit of spice, a little bit of spooky into our daily lives. Now's a great time to find stuff. I got some things I'm gonna hold off and show you because if you'll recall, last decor hunt, uh, ended up being like an hour and 10 minutes. And so we did not get to a haul of what I got last time. So I'm going to lump this stuff in and we're going to do a big haul when we get home of, um, what I got last time and this time. Okay. I have got to get scooting to my nail appointment. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll check up with y'all afterward. Uh, like I said, we might try to find a target on the Kansas side, see if we can find that spooky sign, but I will catch up with you in just a bit. Mwah. Oh my goodness, everyone. So I just got done with my nail appointment and you're not, you're not ready. You're not ready to handle this. Look at my little nails. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, like, I literally, I can't handle it. They're so cute. So I think, I think by the time you all are watching this, we have hit 40,000 subscribers, uh, which is a number that feels crazy coming out of my mouth. But right now I have less than 150 to go. Um, so I think by the time you're seeing this, we'll have it. <laughs> From So my plan for when I hit 40K was to unveil my new branding, my launch my new website. Um, so this art is, these are my business cards and this is my new like branding, my new everything. Um, and as you can see, it's the little ghost from my, uh, my business card. And there's like the little spider and everything. It's all from my new branding. And so I wanted to get little Midge Munster nails to celebrate 40,000 subscribers. So you will probably notice when this video goes live, a change in the channel. I will be putting up new images, new, like, like my little logo image will change. My banner will change, uh, over at Instagram, everything will change and update to fit this new branding. And that means that officially midgemonster.com is live. I have a new website uh, where you can find absolutely anything Midge Munster you could ever look for. Um, you can find the podcast there. You can find my YouTube there. You can find my Instagram there. You can contact me from that page. You can look at photo shoots of all of my home decor and, and brand shoots that I've done. And my merch shop is now located over at midgemonster.com. There's Ghoul's Night Inn podcast merchandise, and I will be launching a new line of midge merch <laughs> over on the website as well that will have this new branding identity kind of uh, woven into that merchandise as well. Uh, just lots of really, really cute stuff. So go check that out. It is live now. If you're watching this video, midgemonster.com is live. And I want to say a really, really deep thank you to Corinne Dodenhoff, who designed all of my new merchandise, my business cards. Uh, if you send something to my PO box, you're going to get a thank you card that was designed by Corinne. She built the website. She tolerated me for several months while we worked through uh, the many, many details of all the stuff that we did together. And uh, I could not be more thrilled with the work that she has done. She is based out of Philly. We did everything remotely. So if you are looking for a kick-ass graphic designer, a person who is just incredible to work with, uh, Corinne, I will link her in the description box below. She is so incredible. Uh, I cannot cannot recommend her enough. Just incredible work. So that is that. It, th this has been a long time coming. I think Corinne and I started working on stuff together in March. March. <laughs> it's been a, a long time coming to bring the new uh, era of Midge Munster. So I really hope that you all love the new design and love the new merch. And of course, I cannot, cannot stress this enough. Thank you. 
thank you all for being here, for supporting my channel, for just being the, the best community that a ghoul could ever ask for. 40 freaking thousand subscribers. 40,000 of you. That's like, it feels insane saying that number out of my mouth. <laughs> I never thought we would be here. Not this fast, for sure, anyway. Um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love y'all so much. We are at a Target on the Kansas side, as I said. Um, let's pop in here and see if we can find anything different than what we found at that other Target. I'm hoping for the spooky sign. I want it so bad. Uh, but once we're done here, honestly, we might wrap it up. I know this was kind of a short decor hunt, but we have a lot of hauling to do when we get home because we have today's haul and last week's haul to do. Uh, and I want to give us plenty of space and time to sit and, and talk through all that and talk about what is coming next on the channel as we move kind of out of decor hunting season and into decor season, into de decorating season and Halloween time. So let's go in. I will see you inside. Look at all those chickens. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Did I mention I'm excited? Okay, look at this. It's heavy. It's like clear and it lights up. Oh my god. I'm out of breath. I like ran. <laughs> oh, I think I should get more than one. I'm gonna get two of them. Oh my god. I feel like I can literally be done for the year now. Like that was the one thing. <laughs> I was still trying to find. I cannot believe it. I got some cool stuff that they did not have at the other Target, so I'll give you. I'll I'll show it to you. Okay, so obviously they have the spooky sign. Amazing, so exciting. Uh, they also have this little ghost with a little purple neon outline. He's cute. Also in the same vein, they have a boo sign that's the same as the spooky one. It's heavy. It's got this clear acrylic on it that lights up. Um, but it's orange. And then they've got the little pumpkin boy sign that kind of goes with that ghost one. I really like the design of this little trick or treat sign. I think that's cute, $10. Also got this handsome little, little pumpkin gentleman for 15. A couple little banners. They also have all of the new wood setups. Um, I love this little cemetery. I think they've had this one before, but it's so cute. And then I think these two are new. The ice cream shop. <laughs> so, so cute. Uh, and then the coffin club. It's like a little jazz club. Or a comedy club. Laugh your head off. <sighs> I kind of love this. I might get that. I don't know where I would put it. But laugh your head off makes me think of the Headless Horseman. And therefore, I feel like <laughs> I feel like I need it. They've got a cute little haunted house and look at this little amphitheater in the park <laughs> i love the bat on the proscenium that is so cute and they've got some different little things you can set up with the village looks like these are uh they're rocking out to the concert <laughs> some little guys for the cemetery more of this um pink -oween stuff like the other place but it's got these cute little like gradient pink and orange trees we got a couple pumpkins. Let's see. Oh, that one's just pink and orange. <laughs> um, but we've got the witches in, and then one with little ghosties on it. And then a couple little signs. Home sweet haunted home, and I put a spell on you. Oh my goodness, they have all the lighting that they did not have at the other target. Got some really cute, like small strands of lights that are spiders. Little ghosts and little cats, and bats, and jack o' lanterns, and skeletons, everything you could want. Oh, cute. They also have some of these lights like Big Lots has had in the past that do the like little projection faces. Hold on. <laughs> they have some in a ghost version too. Oh. Not Scarface. <laughs> not 
Ooh, these are kind of cool. They're like drapey branch garlands that have lights and then they've got orange and a purple version. Oh, cute little ghost projector. I want that just like for my life. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It projects like an arch around your door. That's a great thing for people who maybe don't have space to do one of the big inflatables. Also, we have all those lamps I was talking about, the jack-o'-lantern. I don't think I've seen the bat. The bat's super cute. And a little ghost. And they do have the, the cauldron neon light. I really, really like that. I can't decide if I if I need it or not, though. They've also got a little grim reaper and the skull. And some cool different LED signs. I've never seen these before. I wish they had them out so we could see what they looked like. This is super cute. They didn't have any of these blow molds at the other Target. $10. It's like a pretty stocky little trick-or-treat guy. Lights up. We also got this little ceramic haunted house and a different uh, tree. This is the orange version of the black one we saw. Got some little plushies as well that do little dances and make sounds. <laughs> Graveyard stone. <laughs> These are also new. These little warblers that like bounce. A few different versions. I like this little bat. He's cute. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Cute little TV with a graveyard scene. Oh, Miranda, it's a yoga skeleton. Also got some like, uh, like felt, I guess, ravens, different sizes, crows, ravens, whatever you want to call them. Oh, they didn't have this at the other Target. Look at this little, <laughs> this little hearse. Happy haunting. That's cute. Kind of got some vintage flair with the white wall tires and the little fins on the back. <laughs> got some different ghoulish garden stuff here too as well. Some different tombstones. Oh, I love that one. Okay. I kind of love that. I know I don't usually do like purple. But the paint and the spider and the spider webs. It's heavy too. Whoa. Definitely made for uh, outdoor use. Dang, do I need that? <laughs> got a little doggy one too. Oh, that's cute. We've got the uh, deranged garden gnome. <laughs> this is one of the few gnomes I think I actually like. Some eyeball flowers we didn't see. And then I have not seen any of these before either. Got like a little snakehead orchid plant. And then whatever is going on here. Y'all, look at these crazy <laughs> Funko Pop masks of the Sanderson sisters. I've met what on earth? Those are crazy. You can be a pop. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, there's a different tree than the one we saw, too. That's cute. Happy Halloween. Oh, they also don't have the ghost spatula. And they've got all these different shaped waffle makers. Um, if y'all are wondering if these work, they absolutely do. I have that spiderweb one. I've had it for like two years and I love it. It works super well. I've never had any issues with it. So if you've ever been wondering if these are worth the purchase, I adore mine. Okay, well, all I can say is, wow, that was awesome. I cannot believe we actually found a, a stocked Target. Uh, Again, Kansas side always gets the stuff before we get the stuff. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's like Target funneling their resources to a higher income area, which is honestly kind of what I think is happening, which is shitty, but, mm. but it was so exciting to actually see everything and to find the spooky sign. I can't believe I found the spooky sign. I'm so happy. Once again, much like Joanne, I reined myself in. I didn't get too, too much, but I got a few things. I'm really happy overall with everything that I ended up with. So I think that's where I'm going to wrap it for today. Like I said, we do need to go home and do a haul. That probably won't happen tonight because I am 
wiped from running around all day. But until then, I'm done for the day. Midge Munster out. Hello. So I am back at home and yes, I am sitting on my fireplace hearth. <laughs> I didn't realize quite how much stuff I acquired over the last few hunts. Uh, as you'll recall, the haul we're doing right now is for both yesterday and the last week's hunt as well. And I've been kind of accumulating everything, like setting it at, at my fireplace when I come in, cause it's like right next to my garage door, just kind of accumulating it all right there, knowing that we were gonna do this. And wow, it's a lot of stuff. So I decided I did not want to take all this all the way up to the studio just to bring it back down later. So we're just gonna sit right here and go through it. I'm gonna jump right in because we do have a lot of stuff to get through and we also have something fun. I just got a package from Spirit Halloween that I was not expecting. <laughs> not things I, I purchased anyhow, I guess is what I mean. So uh, we have quite a large box from Spirit to go through as well, and I haven't opened it yet. I wanted to open it with all of you. So let's get right into this haul. Since you can see this, I'm gonna show this first. Um, this was from TJ Maxx and I stinking love this pillow it has a very vintage pin tuck pillow type vibe to it and it is like textured the um web on here is like kind of a almost like a yarn type i don't even know how to describe that well but it is like embroidered on the pillow this was $16.99 which I honestly feel like for a pillow is not a bad price like I've seen some really freaking expensive pillows out there while hunting and I just absolutely adore I mean y'all know webs I love webs I think this is going to be a great addition to my sofa if my dog does not positively ruin it <laughs> actually uh I'm gonna use this and give myself a little little lumbar support. Oh yeah. So as you might remember from the last decor hunt, this was the day that I said that TJ Maxx was positively bumping with crazy <laughs> decor items. I don't have them over here anymore, but this was the day I got the uh, bake at your own risk spatula set. I got this pillow. I also found Joanna Parker mugs in the wild for the first time in years in a TJ Maxx. And I ended up buying two sets. The first uh, was this set, which has the ghost and the jack-o'-lantern. And this was $19.99 for this set of two. So $10 a mug. So this is the little ghost. I think he is so <laughs> stinking cute. And then this is the little pumpkin guy. These are two Joanna Parker pieces I have wanted for a while, so I was really excited to get my hands on them. I bought another set that was a black cat and an owl, and I actually got those for my mom and I've already gifted them to her, so I don't have them with me, but super cute. Okay, and I think I only have one other thing to show you from TJ Maxx, but I think y'all are gonna freak out. <laughs> I could not believe this. I have not seen one of these in the wild since 2018. And this is actually my favorite decor piece that I already own. And so I didn't buy this one for me. I did buy it to give to one of my Patreon members. So <laughs> can you all believe that I found this? I am so fully freaking shocked. Um, so yeah, obviously this is the Headless Horseman um, sculpture that is very popular amongst the Halloween community. And um, I have, like I said, I have one. I actually found mine the first year I started Halloween decor hunting, which I believe was 2017. Uh, mine is actually kind of a brushed grayish black color, um, but I've been seeing a lot more of them in gold over the last couple of years. And I actually really like the gold. If we ever have like Halloween youtube awards we should give people gold headless horseman statues i think that would be really good <laughs> anyhow like i said i found this at tj maxx which uh in the past i've only ever found the horseman at home goods i know those are all one conglomerate but I i'd never seen one at tj maxx so I it really caught me off guard when i saw it sitting on top of the shelf anyway i had to grab it because 
you all know as well as I do, these are the kind of things that scalpers buy and mark up to stupid, insane prices. And I know there are so many of you who have been looking for this for a really long time. I know I did when I was first looking for mine. This was 35 at TJ Maxx. And like I said, I will be giving this to one of my Patreon $10 tier Glamour Ghoul Gang folks. Uh, so if you are not already a member of Patreon and you would like to check that out, you can click the link in the description box below. So I'll be really, really Really excited to see this go to a home that is uh, as excited about it as I am. <laughs> okay, so let's move into Dollar Tree because speaking of hard to find items <laughs> that I really, really wanted, I know you all already saw me like snatch this at the Dollar Tree, but I found this come in for a bite vampire sign at Dollar Tree. Um, a lot of you asking about my Dollar Tree, saying you've never seen one like that before. Uh, most of the Dollar Trees in my area now are what are called Dollar Tree Plus, I think. So basically Dollar Tree Plus has a plus section in it that has items that are like three and five dollars as well that are a little bit like nicer bigger items so this was in the dollar tree plus section it was five dollars um as i mentioned in the decor hunt it is unfortunately broken like this little leg on this side was snapped off however what i noted when looking at it is that it is just like stapled in the back Oop that are holding the actual sign part to this black frame. So it would be very, very easy for me to go in and pull those staples and remove this from this stand. Honestly, it's cool that it's on like a little easel, but I would probably want to hang it on a wall anyway. So I'll probably end up just putting it in a new frame and hanging it. This is literally one of two items that I have been hardcore hunting for this season and I couldn't be more excited that I actually found it. Also from Dollar Tree, I did end up getting this uh, posable paper cutout skeleton guy. This was a dollar. $1.25, whatever, you know, Dollar Tree's a little weird now. <laughs> um, but I loved the like neon glow of this. Again, uh, if you recall, we're doing something a little bit weird with the living room this year. And I think this is gonna work really, really well in the space. I love just the like simple paper cutout decorations. Like those are very classic and it's a really inexpensive way that you can make your home look vintage <laughs> spooky, you know? I'm actually really excited. My friend Tara from Shrieks and Eeks uh, posted the other day that she had some old Bicel cutouts like the ghost with the candles and I think a couple skulls and some stuff um, that she'd had forever and just never gotten around to using. And she's like, does anybody want these? <laughs> I'm not gonna use them. I was like, me, 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 me. So she's sending those to my PO box and I am ecstatic to use them. Again, I, oh, I love the paper cutouts. Don't they remind you when you were a kid? I think all age groups that are like over the age of 25 at this point, like you probably remember having some kind of like cutout stuck to the wall on Halloween. <laughs> okay, I think that's all I got from Dollar Tree. Most everything is from Target and Joanne. I'm just gonna tell you right now. But I do have one bag from Home Goods. Now, part of this Home Goods trip were the two Ghoul's Night Out Ray Dunn mugs that I showed y'all in the car that I got for Penny and I, uh, the kind of acid green ghouls night out mugs speaking of which thank you all so much to everyone who tuned in for our 50th episode live and who has bought ghouls night in merch so far it has been so cool watching y'all start to tag us in photos wearing the shirts and stuff again we just have so much fun making that show so <laughs> thank you to all who listen if you don't already listen to our podcast i will link it in the description below go check it out get caught up on all like 52 episodes it's a blast but anyway those mugs were part of this trip and then i got a couple other small things this was kind of an impulse buy but i'm not mad about it i have made a decision for my guest bathroom that I think I want to do it over in kind of a little ghost theme and I've found a couple items throughout this season that are gonna help achieve that so I saw this at home goods and I thought that would be a nice just little thing to have around and it was $5.99 this is the apothecary you are fabulous body scrub in apple cinnamon and it's just a little jar 
Again, nothing crazy. I just thought it was really cute. And then again, another kind of little impulse purchase. I just thought this was so pretty. This was up at the checkout and I've never bought one of these before. It's one of these little books that's like a storage book, but it just says trick or treat. But I loved the colors of this. I just thought it was so pretty. I, I don't know. It looked really rich. And then of course it's just a little like storage box on the inside. This was $6.99 and yeah, again, I, I don't really have a rhyme or reason for where I'm gonna use this or put it, but I just, it really stood out to me as being beautiful. And I was like, yeah, six bucks, why not? Another kind of odd duck out. This was the one thing I got from Kirkland's that day. And it is the Salem Forest Apothecary sign. I think you all probably knew when I saw this in the hunt that I was gonna grab it. I just thought this looked really rich and beautiful. And it reminded me of like signs from, you know, that you would see hanging like in Harry Potter or something, or like, in old England, like hanging from a shop on a pole. <laughs> I don't know y'all, I need, maybe, I wonder if I can do, I can do a poll on community tab, right? I'm gonna put out a poll on the community tab. I'm having a really hard time deciding what I'm gonna do with my dining room. And I know y'all are probably like, Midge, you don't have your dining room decorated yet. <laughs> it's happening, it's happening this week, but I've been, I've been really behind on decorating she says literally every year for the last four years. But I think I've been hesitant to start because I don't know what I wanna do. I'm having a really hard time. So I have two really cool ideas and I can't, I can't decipher what I wanna do. I get too excited about too many things and then I like freeze up, you know? Anyway, I did my witch dining room last year and I was gonna do something completely different this year, but I keep finding really cool pieces for the witch dining room and I wanna build on it and but also I wanna try something new. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. That's neither here nor there, but I will probably put a vote in the community tab later this week. <laughs> Shall we get into Target? Because there's, there's a lot to get into. I don't even know what's in these different bags. I'm just gonna start digging. Uh, I did mention this in another video or maybe even earlier in this video. I don't know, all my filming is running together. Um, but I have never had any of the monster cereals from General Mills. And I thought, you know what, 29, what a great time <laughs> to try monster cereal for the first time. So I did buy all four of the monster cereals at Target. Um, what I thought we might do with those is do like a live hangout while I try those cereals. I can't believe I haven't even talked about this yet. Um, we did hit 40,000 subscribers over the weekend and thank you so much. It, it's still, it, it's just, it's surreal. It's surreal. So we hit it and I'm not gonna get emotional about it now because we don't have time and I uh, will save it for the live when we talk about it. But I thought it'd be fun to do a live this week um, and eat some monster cereals and answer your questions and just hang out and be excited together. So I think I'm gonna do that on Friday, this Friday. So that'll be the 23rd and I'll probably go live at like 7 p.m. Central time and we'll all just hang out <laughs> and eat some cereal. Okay, more actual things from Target. Uh, I did end up buying the bat spatula, the, the bachelor, if you will. <laughs> I hate myself. I was really hoping I would find the ghost one, but I didn't, but this one's really cute. But I like having little subtle spooky stuff in my kitchen. It makes me happy. Y'all always call me out cause I'll be like, I like having something just subtle and spooky. And then you're like, Midge holds up giant bat spatula. <laughs> so this next thing is from the Bullseyes Playground. And I didn't get this the first time I went to Target. And then I wasn't actually gonna get it at all. It's this little tray, remember these? And it's got the like kind of fence around it that is spider webs. And I originally wasn't gonna get it because I have a tray on my coffee table and I was like, well, this is kind of small, like for a coffee table to put, you know, a candle or whatever. It's like, I just don't really know what I would use that for. And then I was at Target and someone had left one of these in the office supplies area and had like a little succulent and the tape dispense, like someone had set it up as if they were gonna use it 
in their office. And I was like, oh my God, that's such a good, <laughs> like, that's actually a great idea for this. So I did end up buying it, um, not for decor, but for my desk, for my spooky desk. Uh, I thought that would be a really cute little way to organize some of my, you know, like my pen cup and all that stuff. And I don't remember if I said that was $5 from the Bullseye Playground. Also from Target, you know, I can't resist them. It's this year's ghost mug. Look at that little fella. He's so happy. He's singing a song or wailing. I don't know. The face on it kind of reminds me of like Animal Crossing when they're like singing and they're like, oh, I think this was $5. I have the ghost mug from Target from the last two years. I have a lot of ghost mugs. I love little ghost mugs. I just think they're so stinking cute. Okay, again, more bullseye playground stuff. I found this little boo oven mitt. I thought that was really cute. I love that this is like his little hand. Just imagine you come to my house, you stay in the beetle suite, you wake up in the morning. I'm making breakfast. I'm flipping pancakes. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I'm putting on a puppet show. Are you picturing it? I pour you coffee into one of my 12 ghost mugs. We have a wonderful time, <laughs> a great breakfast. This little guy was $3. Okay, we are just about, just about through with Target, uh, but not without me buying another mug. This mug just got me. I think it's so cute. It's this little mug with orange and pink and black candy all over it and then on the lip of the mug it says trick or treat in a font that is very fun and 60s and kind of groovy i believe this was 5.99 i don't see a price tag on it anymore it's a nice like stoneware mug i just i love look at the little candy corns that are like pink and black and orange so cute. I know y'all already know that I bought this, but in the uh, way of Target ceramics, I did also get the spider web plate platter thing. I guess I said earlier there were only two items I was looking really hard for. There, I guess there were three. This was something I also really wanted. Uh, I just think it's really cool. I like the kind of raw pottery look of how it's very, you know, it's not perfect looking, which I like. And I like that the edges are kind of rough and I just think it's really, really cool. Okay, second to last from Target, uh, back again to the ghost bathroom. This is what kind of solidified the deal for me because I'd been wanting to do this. And then this came up and I was like, yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> it's this Hey Boo bath mat from Target. Uh, this was $10, I think, and I love, I love this font. I'm not usually a person who loves, like, decor with puns on it or anything that is too font-heavy or, like, word-heavy, but, like, this is cute. <laughs> this is, why is it so, like, groovy looking? I love it. And it's really soft. It's got a good little, like, non-slip mat under it so yeah <laughs> one thing about me i love ghosts and spider webs that's my stuff so when i saw this i knew i knew i had to do it to them we're on a journey to make a ghost bathroom stay tuned and then last but certainly not least from target we have my holy grail item that i was looking high and low for <laughs> this spooky sign. I am so freaking happy to have found this. Like I said, this is something that I will likely keep out as year round decor, either in my office or out here in the living room. I love this piece. There is something about, again, this font that just feels very mid mod to me. And I love the little like, I love that it's a light without being a marquee. I'm kind of bored with the marquee word signs. I feel like I've just seen it a hundred times before, but I really, really like this. And it sold out online so fast. I just, I didn't know if I was gonna get my hands on it. So I'm so happy. And because I couldn't help it, and I know these have been hard to find, I did go ahead and purchase a second one as well. So we have two really great Patreon giveaways this time. I'm going to be giving 
the spooky sign and the headless horseman to separate winners within that glamour ghoul gang ten dollar patreon tier so uh, again the link is in the description box for that if you want to join my patreon if you are in the ten dollar tier at the time that i draw for these two items which will likely be uh, I'm gonna say, I usually do it within a week, give people time to see this video, but likely within the week, I will uh, draw for both of these and then send them off to their new homes. I'm so excited. I hope those of you who are part of my Patreon are excited about these items. I know I'm very excited to gift them to you. That wraps us up on Target. I do have a few things from Joanne to show you. Now, like I mentioned, I did pull myself way back at Joanne. I just can't, I'm getting frustrated with the fact that shopping at Joanne means looking at ridiculous prices and then they're like, but it's 50% off, which is just like the price that it should have been in the first place. And even that price is still a little pricey. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like feeling kind of cranky about it. So it's hard for me to want to spend a lot of money at Joanne right now. But they did put out that Haunted Hollow line that had a lot of cute stuff that I did think was really, really attractive. One thing I, I knew I couldn't leave without was this surprise spiderweb mug. <laughs> uh, I, again, I love this because it actually now having the two together, it has very similar vibes to the spiderweb plate. Like it's got that embossed stoneware look and it just looks, again, messy in a good way. Like I like that it looks more like pottery. <laughs> So yet again, another mug. The mug count for this haul is now up to five for those keeping track at home. Again, something I forgot that I got. <laughs> so this is just a little tabletop decor sign that is a spider web that says, boo. Um, I actually really, really liked this the first time I went to Joanne this season and decided not to get it. And then yesterday with it being 50% off, it made it $10 and that seemed justifiable to me. It's got kind of a, it's got like a plexiglass uh, screen that's lifted off of there and that's what the words are printed onto. And something about this kind of gives me like vintage advert vibes. I don't really know why, but <laughs> I just, I like something about it. So I got it for my desk. Oh my God. Did I get another mug? <laughs> oh no, it's not a mug. Thank God, I remember now. <laughs> I got this little mossy kind of patinaed pumpkin boy. I thought this was so cute. I just really liked how textured it was and the little stem. Again, this is kind of me thinking about my witch's apothecary dining room thing again, lots of moss and texture. And I thought this would really uh, complement that. So I don't know. <laughs> You know what, honestly, the thing is, regardless of if I do that theme in my dining room or not, I have a ton of stuff for it. And so it will come back at some point. So no harm, right? And adding, <laughs> I'm telling myself that, no harm in adding a couple of pieces here and there. And then the last thing I got from Joanne was this little ghost plate. Uh, again, I believe this is Johnny Yannick's art as a ceramic plate. Um, this was originally $12.99, so again, probably like six bucks-ish. And once again, I got this for the bathroom, the ghost bathroom, hopefully. I thought this would be a nice little tray to have on the sink, either for uh, like jewelry, to put your jewelry in while you're washing your face, or to put your hair ties in, or to even, I mean, even would make a cute little soap dish. So I think the, uh, the possibility is definitely there for this to be a nice piece to add to the bathroom. Okay, we did it. That is everything from the last couple of decor hunts. However, as I mentioned mere moments ago, we have, I can't even lift it, a very big box from Spirit Halloween. Um, thank you, Spirit, for sending me this. I have not, I, I, I already cut the tape but I haven't looked inside yet at all, so I don't know what's in here. So let's dive in, shall we? Let's find out what Spirit has to say. First things first, a hat, which um, will automatically go to Taylor because would you like to see me in a hat? No, you wouldn't. 
This won't even fit my head. I have such a big head. I can't wear hats. Um, <laughs> but it is a very cute little just spirit logo hat. Taylor's going to be so thrilled. Taylor wears a hat basically every day, so he'll be repping. Ooh, okay. See, all signs are pointing towards do something witchy in the dining room again. <laughs> Look at this. This is gorgeous. I don't think I've seen this before. It's like a round... Uh, kind of doily tablecloth that is Ouija themed. That's really cool. <laughs> and if y'all remember my little like Ouija setup in the in the witch room last year, oh, that's really cool. <laughs> Lots to think about. <laughs> Lots to think about. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, I don't think I've talked about this yet, so I don't even know how they would have like anticipated this need. Glow in the dark spider webbing. Uh, these are like the, you know, like the stretchy spider webs that you use to just decorate your house. Um, these are the glow in the dark ones. So I literally was about to go buy two packs of these. I needed, <laughs> I need these for my living room. That's so exciting. Yay. <laughs> I love this because I can tell that spirit didn't just send random boxes to people because I can see like they know I love Ouija stuff and I can see that the like bottom of this box is black and white striped and purple and green, which means they sent me Beetlejuice stuff. <gasps> I love him so much. Look at this little fella. Oh, little Beetlejuice plush. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with him. I love him, he's so cute. <laughs> We've also got another mug. <laughs> so we're now, what, this, is that six, two, four, five? Yeah, this is the sixth mug of the haul. Cheers, everybody. If you had six mugs on your Midge Hall bingo card, go ahead and check that off. I love this mug though. It says, <laughs> go ahead and make my millennium. <laughs> Very cute. It's like bright green on the inside. I love that. Oh, Taylor's gonna be so mad when he sees all the mugs. <laughs> Wow, y'all, they really hooked me up. Lace, mantle scarf, and table runner. Beetlejuice, ooh. What? I don't even know what this is. I don't wanna, oh yeah, they're in separate packs. Okay, I'm probably not gonna open these right now because I don't wanna, they're black and they'll just get dog hair positively all over them if I open those right now. But um, I'm assuming they have like a sandworm pattern or something. Very cool. Okay. <laughs> What is this? Oh no. <laughs> I didn't know this was something they were doing. I got two of these little, you guys know about these? These little like surprise keychain packs. So they have a bunch of different options that you can get. You don't know what you're gonna get when you buy it and you tear it open, it's got a surprise inside. So I got Beetlejuice. <laughs> and then I also got a Universal Monsters one. Uh, that was my little trick to myself yesterday. But this is fun. These are, the options are all spirit animatronics. They made their own like surprise pack. That's really fun and different. I didn't know they did that. So just so we're all on the same page, the options are Crouchy the Clown, The Hauntress, Miserable Marie, Icon, Pumpkin Nester, Man's Possessed Friend, the dog that pops out of the house. Y'all know the one. Little Skelly Bones, we love him. Roaming Antique Doll. Honestly, I would love to get a haunted doll. That sounds poppin'. Bloody Bag of Jokes. Hugs the Clown, another classic. And then two exclusive mystery ones that we don't know what they are. So I got it open. Let's see what we got. It's Hugs. It's Hugs the Clown. Oh, he's honestly really cute. Look at him. He's got a little sign around his neck that says free hugs. Don't you just want to hug him? He's such a little baby. Ooh, very exciting. We've also got some pumpkin string lights, but they're like the black ones that light up. Oh, the try me button's not working anymore. Oh wait, pull tab, done. Fun, can you see them? So it's like a black jack-o'-lantern that flashes orange light. We've got some more spirit swag. We got a spirit tote bag and we've got some more cool Ouija stuff. So we've got a metal Ouija tray, 
with the board there in the middle and kind of some celestial stuff around. Very cool. And we've got the Ouija cup. Very cute with a little planchette on it. I love a planchette. And then the last thing in here, I'm full blown shocked they sent me this. Um, this is something I thought this year at Spirit was one of the coolest new additions to the Beetlejuice line. So it is the Beetlejuice sign doormat. Um, and you can see it's got like Beetlejuice's shadow kind of over it. But then the really, really cool thing about this is that the lights around the sign actually do light up. I don't think it's really reading, unfortunately, on camera, but they are flashing right now. I just thought that was a really cool design, like something really unique. And that was something that was really missing last year from my yard display. I didn't have like a cool doormat or anything to put on the porch to round out all the stuff that I had out. So this is going to be the perfect addition to our Beetlejuice yard this year. I'm so freaking excited. Okay, well, that was the last item from Spirit. Thank you again to Spirit for sending me these items. This was uh, so cool. I appreciate it so much. Like I said, I really appreciate it. I could tell that the box was like tailored to me. It's all stuff that they know I love. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen and I love him so much. But I think that is everything for today. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for 40,000 subscribers. As a reminder, I will be going live this Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time to hang out with y'all and celebrate and answer your questions and try these cereals. <laughs> I hope to see a lot of you there. If you're not already subscribed to the channel and you would like to be, think about hitting that subscribe button before you leave today. We would love to have you be a part of our Glamour Ghoul gang. And of course, remember to check out my Patreon linked in the description box below. As I've mentioned, if you are in that $10 Glamour Ghoul gang tier, when I draw for the Headless Horseman and the Spooky sign here within the next seven days or so, you will be eligible to win those items. And I'm very, very excited to gift those to two amazing Glamour Glamour Ghouls. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you all are having a wonderful start to your spooky season, and I will see you all again very soon. Until then, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye!